We got a chance to speak to some of the minds behind the new Marvel series, Echo. Check out our conversation with producer, Richie Palmer. Um, hey, talk to me about Marvel Spotlight, because yeah. I was curious as to the conversations that led to its inception, in that it is a trajectory that feels similar to what happened in comic books with hard resets whenever things became too complex or complicated, right? With regards to story arcs and tie-ins and crossovers. And was that the motivating factor? We just wanted to tell a story about Maya Lopez and her family and make sure that the stakes were that of one woman and her family and not multiversal stakes that had to do with the larger MCU right now. Uh, and it was inspired by the comics. As you mentioned, in the 70s, there was a comic called Marvel Spotlight where some hugely iconic characters from the comics like Ghost Rider and Spider-Woman, these characters got their debut in a Marvel Spotlight comic and they wouldn't have otherwise gotten their own series. Um, but because stories were told and they were good stories about good characters, they've gone on for decades. So I think our hope is that we take an obscure character from our larger Marvel Comics canon, like Maya Lopez, and put her in the spotlight and hope that fans love her so that we can do more with her and all the characters we've introduced alongside her. Very cool. Are you guys also hoping for this to be a way in for newcomers? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We think that, especially a show like Echo about Maya, it's a little more grounded, it's a little more violent and gritty. I think it it's inviting in a way that it feels a little more grounded. And I think there's more to attach yourself to immediately. And then along the way, I think you get wrapped up in how emotional this show is in a really cool way. I think one of the cool things, uh, we've seen the first three episodes, and I think one of the cool things about Echo is this idea that it explores a different part of the MCU and it tells that story in a tone and a look that feels different from the other things that we've seen. And I was wondering if you could talk to me about crafting that tone and look, because there are times when things can feel a little templated or like they have a a style, a Marvel, like, you know, how to draw comics the Marvel way, right? But this one feels a little outside of that box. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that Echo, like all of our shows going forward, have a unique style to anything that came before it. Sydney Freeland came in with a very clear vision of how to portray Oklahoma in our series, and our whole present day storyline takes place in Oklahoma over a very short period of time. And that was something else that Sydney really wanted to do. So we have flashbacks to New York and flashbacks to other places and times, and she wanted to make sure whenever we were in the present day bulk of our story in Oklahoma, you knew exactly where you were at all times, and it was a small town grounded feel to it in a way that I really think makes the show more intimate and able to get emotionally attached to these characters in a cool way. Oh, absolutely. Um, how has, and I'm not sure you can answer this question without giving too much away, but <laughs> we saw how Kingpin had changed a little bit in Hawkeye. And I was wondering, how is he different in this show? <clears throat> well, the Kingpin we meet in this show... He's been humbled. He's by not Maya. wearing a Hawaiian shirt, that's for sure. He's not wearing a Hawaiian shirt, which in their defense was from the comics, but he's not wearing Hawaiian shirts this time. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, uh, me too. But he's not wearing Hawaiian shirts this time. He's he's. I think he's been humbled by what Maya did to him at the end of Hawkeye. I think that humbled him. I think he's coming to her saying, you know what? I respect you and recognize you. We had a whole life together and I understand why you did what you did. So now I'm humbly coming to you to ask you to, you know, join me and together we'll go rule the city. I think that's a new side of Kingpin. I think he's a, a humbler man now. I think he he will I think it's one step though towards the direction that you'll see him even going forward. I think if you stay tuned to our, till our finale, you'll see that like Maya in our show, he makes a small step towards a new a new version of his character that we're excited to see how it unfolds in our future shows. Oh, very cool. And you know, we can never get enough of Vincent D'Onofrio. He's just he's like the best. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. He's the best. Uh, Richie, I want a lot of time. Uh, thank you so much for yours. And congratulations on Echo. It's, it's been a great ride so far. I'm looking forward to the last half. Thank you. What did you do? All the episodes of Marvel's Echo are now streaming on Disney Plus Hotstar. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Sound off in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.